Sammy here, and we're outside by the pool, even though it's winter, it's nice and sunny out today, and we're here because I want to talk to you about bees. Yes, bees. <laughs> so lately, Mom and I have been finding bees in our pool, trying to swim, and we don't know what's going on, but then we figured it out. They're trying to drink water, but what happens is, is they get stuck in the water, and then they can't get out, and then they drown and die, and that makes me really sad because bees, even though they're kind of scary because they can sting you if you make them mad, but bees are good for the environment because what they do is they pollinate flowers that are on trees and vegetables and fruit and flowers and all sorts of things, and if it wasn't for them, we wouldn't have a lot of the food that we have in this world. So we need bees to help pollinate the food for us. So behind here is the water. I don't see any bees in there right now, thankfully, but sometimes they're in there. So let me show you how we save them when we find them in there. Okay guys, so basically what we do is we take this net and we scoop them out. And you'll see here behind me that there's a few bees in this net that unfortunately and sadly didn't make it. So let's, let's look at them. So there's a bee, and there's a bee, and those bees didn't make it. There was two others on here that did make it, though, and they dried off and flew away, and they're able to live another day. So what we need to do is we need to help these bees be able to drink water without drowning in our pool. I can totally see how this water would be very tempting for a bee to climb in to get a drink, but we need to help them find a way to drink without getting in this pool and drowning. So that's what we're going to be doing today, kids. We are going to be making a bee watering hole, guys. So that way, the bees will be able to have a place to drink and they won't be able to drown. So let me show you what you're going to need if you want to make one of these for your backyard. By the way, guys, look. The lemons are going to be coming back again. Look at them all. Ha <laughs> ha. Yeah. I had a lemon video that I did last year that showed me picking lemons off the tree. It was a lot of work. Alright, so first things first, guys, you're going to need some type of dish. It could be glass or plastic, which is probably safer. So we just have a Tupperware container here, and uh, you can use any size you want, and you can put as many of these around the yard as you want. You are also going to need rocks or stones or marbles or something like that. So here we have this big rock right here that we're going to use, and we're going to use a bunch of these little pebbles as well. So if you don't have any of these rocks in your yard, you could always find them out out and about like at a park or something or at the beach or at a lake or a river or you could find them at a um, hardware store like in the um, garden department. They sell rocks and things. So you could pick some up there too. So guys, what you're going to do is you're going to fill up the plastic container with rocks and just fill it up around the edge like this and fill it all up. Alright guys, so after you got your rocks in there, you're just simply going to add some water like this and fill it up. And you can add more rocks. As you can see, the water is in there, but it's not totally covering the rocks. Now the reason for that is, so, so, so that way when the bees get in there and they want to take a drink, they'll have something to hold on to, so that way they won't drown. So just make sure you do not cover the rocks completely with water. Then what you do guys is you put it in your yard wherever you want and the bees will find it and drink. So here is ours sitting right here on this stone bench in the garden and we'll probably make a few more so that way they're all over the yard. So then the bees can pollinate our fruit trees and our flowers and vegetables so we'll have food guys so bees are very important they won't sting you if you leave them alone okay so that's how you do it guys and I know that it's snowing and it's very cold in certain parts of the country so the bees probably aren't out but when the springtime comes keep this idea in mind we uh, decided to do this video now instead of in the spring because we have found so many bees um, in our pool, so we figured we needed to give them another way to drink. So this is our bee watering hole. Ha ha ha. So anyway guys, let me know if you think this is a good idea to help the bee population. And uh, yeah, let me know if you've ever done anything like this before too. Anyway, be sure to subscribe guys. I have more videos coming. And also follow me on all of my social media. Those links are in the description box below. And I will see you next time guys. Bye. Bzz.